Hello friends, in the last video we discussed about types of DNA polymerases in prokaryotes. You can refer my video, the link is given in the description box. Today we are going to discuss about DNA polymerases in eukaryotes. According to scientists, there are at least 15 different polymerases present in eukaryotes. Among them, 5 have been studied more abundantly. These are as follows. First is DNA polymerase alpha. It is member of family of B polymerases. It is unique or unusual enzyme. And activities which it shows is 5-3-DNA dependent DNA polymerase. Largest subunit has this activity. Then 5-3-DNA dependent RNA polymerase activity which is also known as the primase activity. Smaller subunit has this activity. It is the only enzyme which have both activities. Hence, it is capable of self prime DNA synthesis that is initiate a new strand or we can say that it synthesizes its own primer and then synthesizes new strand that is it itself is able to start the new strand synthesis. None of the other DNA polymerase enzymes are capable to initiate a new strand. But it lacks intrinsic 3-5-exonuclease activity that is the proof reading activity. Hence DNA that it synthesizes is inaccurate. It also lacks 5-3-exonuclease activity. It has low processivity. So it is a poor candidate for major replicative polymerase or we can say that these are not the major replicative polymerase and the primary function that it performs is to make short RNA DNA primers during DNA replication which is approximately 10 bases. This is followed by synthesis of 20 to 30 bases of DNA. Then this DNA polymerase alpha is replaced by an enzyme that results in extension of DNA strand. Here these are polymerase delta or polymerase epsilon. So this event in which DNA polymerase alpha is replaced by major replicative enzyme DNA polymerase delta or DNA polymerase epsilon is known as polymerase switching. Now the second is DNA polymerase delta. It is main enzyme for replication or it is major replicative enzyme. It is highly processive in the presence of PCNA, proliferating cell nuclear antigen. So it is associated with PCNA as a result of which it is highly processive and this PCNA is equivalent to sliding clamp beta of polymerase 3 in prokaryotes which we have already discussed in the previous video types of DNA polymerases in prokaryotes you can refer it the link is given in the description box activities that it performs are 5-3- polymerase activity and intrinsic 3-5- exonuclease activity and because of these activity it is main enzyme for replication or major replicative enzyme. Now the functions performed by DNA polymerase delta enzyme. It synthesizes the complementary strand. It uses the parental strand as the template and synthesizes the complementary strand. It displaces the primer or removes the primer. Also it is involved in some types of repair synthesis. Now DNA polymerase epsilon enzyme. It is member of B polymerase family. It is main polymerase involved with DNA replication. Or like DNA polymerase delta, it is also major replicative enzyme. It is also processive enzyme as it is associated with PCNA that is proliferating cell nuclear antigen like DNA polymerase delta. So the activities that it shows is 5-3- polymerase activity and second is 3-5- exonuclease activity. It is involved in following functions. Involved in primer elongation in addition to polymerase delta. So we have seen that it is major polymerase enzyme 
like the polymerase delta. Hence, after initiation of synthesis by polymerase alpha, polymerase delta and polymerase epsilon synthesize opposite strands of DNA. Or in other words, if one strand is synthesized by polymerase delta, then the other antiparallel strand is synthesized by polymerase epsilon. It participates in repairing errors. Now fourth is DNA polymerase beta enzyme. It is member of family of X polymerases. It is mainly found in vertebrates, but few are also present in plants and fungi. And the primary function that it performs is DNA repair. It performs base excision repair. This we will discuss in separate video on DNA repair. Structure. It is smallest and simplest polymerase enzyme in eukaryotes. It is composed of a single protein which is approximately 40 to 48 kilodalton. Now activities. It is not highly active. It is not very processive and it has no intrinsic exonuclease activity or it lacks intrinsic exonuclease activity. Therefore, it is involved in mainly DNA repair. Fifth is DNA polymerase gamma enzyme. It is member of family of A polymerases. It is only mitochondrial polymerase. That is, it is only the polymerase which is present in mitochondria as mitochondria also consists of DNA. Functions and activities. It replicate and repair mitochondrial DNA. Since it is only mitochondrial DNA polymerase enzyme, hence it performs all the function related to DNA replication and repair. It has 3-5- exonuclease activity. This is all for today's video. In the next video, we will see comparisons among DNA polymerases of prokaryotes and DNA polymerases of eukaryotes. So stay tuned. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.